He says he's arresting me. For what? So, said something like <clears throat> fear. Why are you arresting him? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. We didn't do anything wrong. We're just sitting here. Right. That's no. Mm -hmm. Okay. A few months ago. Okay. Well, you want to explain <sighs> it to me then? Huh? You want to explain it to me then? Yeah. Why yeah. you're arresting him? Okay. Thank you. So, <clears throat> a few months ago, when he was up here riding with somebody else, okay, I got called to a crash. Are you okay, man? Uh, yeah. well, I showed up. I asked him. I said, hey, was you riding with this guy? He said no. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I asked if there was video, any video evidence and then? of the crash. Both parties said no. Both parties said that he wasn't riding, or the other guy that crashed even said he wasn't riding with him. Mm -hmm. About a month or so went by. Mm -hmm. There was a video okay. of the exact same crash that I investigated. And it contradicted everything that the person that crashed said and contradicted everything that he said. Hmm. Okay. And so, so you're arresting him for that? Arresting him for Even though they didn't... Maybe there wasn't. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, I, it was last I've, year and I've now already, you're going to arrest him? I, I've already talked I've already talked to the DA. Mm -hmm. I went through the DA's office before any ch charges were brought out. Can I go bail him out today? Should be able to, yeah. This is ridiculous, you know that, right? Like, this is just, you guys are just out to get him. Like, it's obvious. It's, it's been very clear that you are. That's what you, you want to... I do. I respect that. I do. Okay? That is how I feel. So, I think this is... And ma'am, I respect that. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. So, now I've got to place him under arrest. Okay, and he's got to come with me, okay? Tied on you? No. I don't want to be too loose either. I don't want your wrist. He ain't come. He ain't gonna fight you. He ain't gonna go anywhere. I, he's never I'm ran from sure a cop. He, I'm okay. I'm sure that he, there's some kind of gun. Mm -hmm. I know he's not gonna fight me. He's just not a bad. I'm just trying to make sure that these yeah. guys are gonna mess his wrist up. All right. All right. Do you have an attorney that I need to call? for his arrest and because the video last year of the kid who crashed yeah, the yep i just need to get his tag tag information off his box there's no tell you who the box being released to and then i'm gonna be off okay all right see that coming i thought oh he's cool he's just gonna talk about your bike yep. so. that's what he was when we were out there yeah. he was talking but still up the, uh, but then he did so i got to the jail and uh you can't even get in the building on sundays so i sat outside for about an hour and talked to the bail bondsman um and they said it's really busy in there so it's going to be hours till uh, i can get him out um, funny part is like, where's the crime? I, I don't really know because there was no victims. There was no anything. So, so we're sitting here. I'm at a uh, Fetty's house because it's close to the jail. So I didn't have to just sit out front. We called the cops, you know, to see when he'd be released. And they said, it's not based on who first come first serve. It's just, you know, who whenever, they choose. Yeah, whenever they decide. So, uh, he was arrested at... 3.45, 3.30. It is now 8.49. Uh, so we will see how long this takes. Well, it's officially 10.20. Um, his bail was $10,600 because uh, they said he's a flight risk. What a joke. Um, it was paid roughly a half an hour ago and yet he's still not out. So, hmm. They're really pushing that today time, aren't they? It's now 10.47. They're going through shift change. Here I am in the, I don't know, visitor waiting room. He comes out that door. Crazy. I guess they're going to push it to the last second. It's 11.20 and I'm still sitting here waiting. They did say it was shift change, but 
you know, I guess they're going to push it right to midnight. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yep, I appreciate it. All right. Max is involved. 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 I can see. The only reason I said that is because the other cops came through. They didn't. They didn't know what. Yeah. Where to go, so. uh, we yeah, I appreciate it. Yes. What's up, boss? How are you, sir? Hello, officer. Where's it at? Where's the bike at? I blacked out, boss. I have no idea. His bike's over there. Okay. I'm surprised you're back up here. From what? From all, from all the, uh, everything else you've been involved in up here. I haven't been that much up here, actually. Yeah? Well, no, I, I, I didn't say that. I just said, I've been coming up here for 10 years. So. I was, Surprised you're actually just back up here. That's what I was saying. You need anything for me because we showed up late. Huh? You need anything for us? We showed up after it happened. Not really. Hey, confiscate, the, confiscate the cameras for evidence if you want evidence. Was it? Were they riding together? Yeah. <laughs> Camera. See that? Huh? Did you see them run together? Yeah. You got your ID on you? A chance? No, thank you. Right. So the be a black Um, the down there between the two trees. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. You have a camera on you? A GoPro on your bike? Mm -hmm. He had a he had a camera on here but I don't see it. Probably deep probably over where the bike is. Um the tail of the dragon flap. Well probably Riding above your own means is probably what happened. And then reckless behavior. Would you probably agree with that? I, I don't. I can't recollect what happened. I don't know what they say about um, I'm not pressing any issues today for the sheer fact that there's a severity that's a lot greater than yours right now. Okay, okay so I've got to actually go back down that way. My first court date is four days after the arrest. It's the arraignment. My attorney and I show up to the Blount County Courthouse. The cop that arrested me was there, but the DA isn't present this time. The cop tells my attorney he wants to impose maximum punishment on all charges. My attorney tells him we're gonna need to review the body camera evidence. They set a new court date for June the 6th, which is about three months later. June the 5th comes around. It's the day before court. My attorney calls me and tells me that the DA is taking over on the case now because there's felonies involved. He wants to move the case four days later, which is not a big problem for me because I hadn't been riding the dragon since I was arrested anyways. And I'm hopeful this new DA will get things resolved considering the cop is basing his evidence off a highly edited YouTube video and not actual eyewitness testimony. June the 10th comes around and I'm optimistic because we're working with the DA now and not the cop. My attorney goes to talk to the DA and the cops been in this DA's ear. The DA is very mad. He wants to offer me six years of probation or five years of probation with one year in jail. My attorney advises him we're not going to take that deal and wants to move the next court date out as far as possible because we were planning on moving back to California. The DA comes back and says, no, we're going to make the court date for August the 12th because 
the statute of limitations is going to run out on all the misdemeanor charges. Bonnie and I decided to move back to California for a couple different reasons. One, I'm idle not making content at the Dragon anymore. And also we want to give time for the DA and the cop to chill out stay out of sight out of mind and we'll just fly back for the court date on august the 12th bonnie and i fly back to tennessee on august the 12th and we're thinking the da is going to want to make a deal at this point because we moved back to california and i haven't been riding on the dragon but that's not what happened the da says he's been getting calls from concerned citizens telling him that i'm still out there riding on the dragon which is not true because i've been living in california for the last two months but that's what he says is happening and he wants to give me an even worse deal than before. 10 years of probation or two years in jail and five years of probation. My attorney tells him we don't wanna proceed on this deal and then we'll go ahead and go into preliminary hearing because he believes once the judge sees the lack of evidence, he's gonna dismiss the case. Our next court date is set for November 18th. Bunny and I fly back to California. On November 18th, we fly back to Tennessee. The morning of the court case, my attorney calls me and tells me that the DA on the case has been fired. There's a new DA, they want to extend it out to review it. My attorney tells them that we've permanently moved back to California and we're flying back and forth to go to court. Let's get a deal done. The DA reviews the case, realizes there's not much evidence, and wants to offer me a deal. Wants to give me three misdemeanor charges with court costs and fines. At this point, even though I'm innocent, I take the deal. Because it's taking money to fly back and forth from California and time off work. So at this point, I just want to have it over with. I take the deal. It's done now. After we make the deal, the cop is livid. He is in the courtroom yelling at the district attorney, then storms out of the courtroom. This cop is obviously still very mad at me. You probably won't see me riding the dragon anymore because it's just not worth the risk from this cop and the fact that the state of Tennessee can use highly edited YouTube videos against you to bring charges. After seeing the evidence in this case and hearing the story, what's your opinion? Should they be able to bring charges against you from highly edited YouTube videos? 